Welcome back, heroes, to our Stardew Valley 1.5 Let's Play series. We... Let me hold tab and make this a little smaller real fast. Sorry, I was not prepared. It's fine. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> we um, left off... Oh, what was it? Oh, we're on the 5th. Okay. So it's Friday, which means it's Friendly Fridays. I do want to uh, talk to everybody today because I need to give out gifts, especially to Elliot here. Um, I also need to... Um, there's some there's some heart events that I'm missing that I I think I might be able to trigger. I know I know Leah is definitely one of them because she's max hearts right now, and I've yet to see her probably two heart event. And that's on me because it's like I think you have to go to her house or to or to trigger it. So I want to trigger that. Um, let's see here. There's a couple of other achievements that I want to look at. Uh, secret note, what is 910? I don't remember this one. Um, yeah, I need to know if I've done all of these, so I might have to go through those eventually. I also picked up a journal scrap from the volcano mines in last episode, so that's cool. There's a new story mode there. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to be interested in learning all that. Let's see here. Right. Artifacts. So this is what I have to donate. I only have three left. I'm doing fantastic. I've never done this good. Um, I think... Ugh, this is basalt, probably. I'm not sure what that is. I could look it up. But this should be knocked out pretty quickly. I don't have a prismatic shard donated, too. So I think I'm missing that as well, so... Now, I'm not going to donate my Prismatic Shards because those are way too valuable. For now, at least. So we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see when we get to do that. Um, I'm, I'm okay, I'm doing okay on the artifacts. There's a couple of, like this Rusty Spoon, I mean, come on. I'm... I probably have that in a chest somewhere, if I'm being honest. Yeah, like, I don't hear, here's four that I have to turn in. So there you go. There might be a, the Rusty Spoon's so easy to find. You can find it anywhere. So, uh, uh double check, yeah. But, uh, so what I'm gonna do first at the start of this episode is I am going to cut from morning duties and then I will be right back. But after that, we're going to start up some Friendly Fridays. So, um, in the cut, I'm also going to organize my inventory for gifts. So you guys don't have to watch me go through all these chests and figure out what's the best things to give to who. So, I will be right back once everything is done, guys. Okay, let's look at this real fast. I have everything in order of the uh, route that I'm going to take today. There's a couple of empty spots, and those are going to be filled with eggs as soon as I leave the house area. I have not watered my crops, so I will go do that now. After oh, actually, no. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to do it after I do the uh, everybody um, get all the gifts. Get here. Okay. Let's pick up a couple of eggs. All right, okay. So we got one. It's unfortunate. Okay, so we have a couple eggs in here that will work just fine. Let's throw that in there. Okay, I have two. That's that's good. That's good. That's real good, actually. What is this? Is that a brown one? That's good. Mm, no. Nope, 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 nope. I could put in a duck egg, I suppose. Um, and the mayonnaise has got to go back up. So let's throw that away. And put... Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Put that in and then take a duck egg. Perfect. Boom. Okay. 
So this ought to be the gift. I start with the wizard in the forest, and then I work my way to Haley's, do some uh, Jody's, and then hit up Krobus, and all that jazz. So let's get on it. Excuse me. Do -do -do -do, excuse me. Ah. Excuse me. Okay. The a couple of the uh, artifacts here. This is an elven, elvish, elvish ring. You can only find that from artifact spots in the forest. So if I see an, a worms sticking up out of the ground, I will be hitting it. I don't care if that means I'm gonna run behind just a little bit. Ooh, I'm running really behind. Wizard, here you go. You're welcome. Goodbye. And now on to Haley. But first I want to see if Leah's in her house, because that's there's a cutscene hopefully there. I don't pick up forgeables anymore. I don't know why. I just kind of don't. <gasps> she is there. Good. Okay. Cutscene. Oh, hi, Dwight. Come in. Come in. <clears throat> hmm. I'm just working on this sculpture here. Come here. Watch this. See that? I'm reviewing the essence of the wood. Okay. Once you get past the outer layers, the true nature starts to show. It's the same with people. I actually prefer the look of raw, unadulterated wood. Or creepy, may I have a kiss? <laughs> Let's not go with that one. Let's go with... It's the same with people. What? Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely right. Oh, good. I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. I knew I had to come back someday. This place has great artistic potential. Uh-oh. Although, I have to admit, it's not easy to pay the bills as an artist. Yeah. Why don't you have an art show in the town? Or why don't you sell your art and the internet? So, this is what I was waiting for. If you choose, why don't you sell your art on the internet? She doesn't have an eight heart event with you. So, I want her eight heart event, which obviously is an art show in the town, um, to happen. So I want to I wanna go that route. Hmm, interesting. I guess that could set the wheels in motion to making Pelican Town a true art destination. But what if no one likes my sculptures? I'd be crushed. I'll have to think about it. Okay, good. Well, thanks for stopping by, Dwight. You're, you're welcome. Alright, are we leaving? Good. Let's go back in for another cutscene. Kel. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to come back to the city. Stop calling me. I don't want to hear from you anymore. Quick. Hmm. Dwight. <gasps> so, I guess you heard me yelling on the phone? Yeah, kind of did. That was my ex. I guess I'd better tell you a little about it. And I will pause. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. <clears throat> hmm. We had an apartment together back in the city. I did odd jobs during the day and spent all night working on art projects. We barely made enough to scrape by. 
He was always nagging to me, or nagging me to go back to school and study business or medicine. Something with a lot of money in it. I guess the idea was to save up for a normal life, you know? A house in the suburbs, kids, PTA meetings, that sort of thing. I wasn't ready for that kind of life, Dwight. I had to leave, so I came here to pursue my dream of being an artist. Was that selfish of me, Dwight? No, it had to be done. No, and your ex sounds like an idiot. No, but you would have been better off staying in the city. Yeah, a little. Or, yeah, but it's natural to care about yourself first. Hmm. Probably this one. No, it had to be done. You're right. I just wouldn't have been happy back there. It was better for both of us to end... An unsustainable relationship while we were still young and flexible. Anyway, I've been thinking a little more about that art show idea you had. I'm working on some new sculptures to, st to display at the show. I'm nervous, but the thought of getting my work out there is pretty exciting. I'm just glad you're on board with making Stardew Valley a premier art destination, Dwight. <laughs> Okay. Sorry about the little cut scene, or a little cut there. I had uh, my daughter, she was crying, so I wanted to check up on her, so. All right. Hello, Shane. You look unusually happy today. You're right. I haven't felt this light since I was a kid. <laughs> Let me guess. Gus had a clearance sale on canned beer. Good one. No, actually. I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer, and I feel great. You know, I sometimes forget that I really have, I really do have friends, people that care about me. And it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. Good for you, Shaney boy. He looks sharp. Hi, Jess. I've got something for you. <gasps> Ooh. Ballerina shoes. Oh, sorry. Hmm, these are real bunny jewel slippers? <laughs> well, good for you, buddy. But, but these are so expensive. How did you afford them? Hmm, I've cut back on an expensive habit. I have a lot more spending money now. That's that. Alright. So I wanted to get that cutscene done. Let's go talk to Haley. And I'm an hour and 20 minutes behind. So, I might as well... Uh, yeah, I can skip him. Although... He's just a cactus fruit, so... Here you go, buddy. Oh, right. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> Haley! Oh, Haley! Where are you? Uh, Caroline? I do believe you get... These? Yeah, you get, um... You get an apple, right? Shoot. Pomegranate is next to... Okay, you get cheese. Here you go. Enjoy. Egg for Alex. Let's go in here. Nothing here. Oh, 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 Evelyn. Evelyn, Evelyn. There you go. You're welcome. And Mr. Georgia Boy. And I think Penny should be in her hut. Maybe? Nope. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, oh, Sam gets another cutscene. Or Alex gets another cutscene. Oh! Hey, I was just doing my daily strength training routine. Sorry, I have no shirt on. Right. 
Uh, Dwight? I've been meaning to talk to you about something. <clears throat> I've started to realize that, well, that I've been really rude towards you in the past. You know about going pro and all that? <laughs> I guess I might not actually be cut out for the professional sports. Maybe it was just a childish dream, you know? Anyway, I want to apologize to you for bragging and being annoying about it. I appreciate that you stayed friends with me through all of that. You're welcome! <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down there. Calm down there. Alright. <clears throat> Who do I need to talk to next? I need to go into here. I'll do that. Uh, ooh, oh my goodness, lots of people. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I have... Um, I'm looking at a list at the moment, sorry. So after Beats is an apple. Hopefully he likes apples. Nice. And then I got uh, Jody some pancakes. There they are. Here you go. And then Pierre, I believe, gets an egg. Is that right? Because I can give him... A or uh, an iridium quality. I'm gonna double check it real fast. Yeah. Okay. If he gets a date, wait, wait. Here is an egg. Yes. Okay. You can have a duck egg too. Arr! Of course I did. There you go. Anybody back here? No, because I already talked to Caroline, so we're good. All right. We need to find Haley. And Mr. Lewis gets something special, right? No, he's ten hearts, isn't he? You get nothing more from me, loser. Haley, where are you? Here's your coconut, madam. You're welcome. And then go this direction. Uh, let's see here. I gotta talk to Elliot for sure. But I've gotten most of these people on the list. I also need to go to the bus stop. I'm pretty sure that Elliot goes to the library at this time, so... There's Penny. Okay. Well, let's give um, Vincent his grapes, because he loves the grapes. And then, let's see here, Vincent, where's Jess at? She likes the fruit. Okay, good. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um. <clears throat> I wonder if he's going to be on his way, because I could probably get a cutscene from him from his... Oh, there he is. Okay. Happy birthday. You're welcome. Okay. Is that everybody that I need to hit before I go to the desert? Good, okay. To the desert we go. And then the rest of the people I can get in the saloon, so I'm not worried about that. Like Robin, she needs, she needs to get some. She's like, where is she at? She's pretty close, I would imagine. Oh no, she's only seven. Hey, okay, good to know, good to know. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, time to talk to Sandy. And then race back home. Uh, there are a couple of cactus in here. I kind of want all those. Where's your sweet peas? There you go. <clears throat> Here you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anything special on today's list? Honey? Interesting. How many of these can I buy? Oh, wow. I can buy a lot of them. Interesting. That's on Fridays? Hmm. I might be doing that. Buying a crap ton of honey and then just turning it all into mead. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This is where 
Yep, that's where the Secret Note 18 is. I remember that from here. So, it's in the desert, it's right next to that thing, so. Surprise! I don't see any other worms, so we're gonna head out. Waste of $500, kinda. <clears throat> I still have to hit the dwarf, and I still have to get to Krobus. Um, what time is it? 4-ish? 4.40? Okay. Let's go to the mines. Let's get what's-his-face out of the way, which I believe is just a regular old uh, jade, right? Yeah, jade. There you go, buddy. Back to the bus stop. Gotta love friendly Fridays, don't you? It's constant. I'll race you to the bar. <laughs> Actually, this isn't a fair fight. Let's get you running. You mark. Get set. Go! No! That's cheating! Oh, I talked to her. Never mind. Fine! You little turd. Okay. Uh, Robin, here's your peach. And Demetrius, you're maxed, so you're good. Can you... Alright, fine. I'll let you go in. All three of you. Go on. Jerks. Jerks. Ooh, hello. Hi. I'll take your order in a few minutes. What are you doing, buddy? You're just sitting there doing nothing. Oh, this is a cutscene for, uh, Elliot. His eight heart, I think. Hello, Dwight. What a pleasant surprise. I was just stopping in to relax after an eight-hour writing session. Nice. Well done, sir. Bartender, two of your finest ales, please. <laughs> yeah, I'd be silent at that, too, buddy. Okay. Mm Here's your stinking nails. There's only, you know, 25 people in this town, but here you go, sir! Wait, I propose a toast to... Uh... Pelican Tent. Oh, our friendship! That's always a good one. Ooh, yes! That's a great idea! Our friendship! Ah, here is to us! Hmm. Strong stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sure. Why not? All right. Let's get this out of here. Let's go talk to. I guess Clint's still on his way. So um, Shane, I believe, gets an egg. Right? Oh my gosh. Why do I always... Like, I should know these things by now. He likes hot peppers, but I don't have them, so he gets an egg. Uh, Sam, you, my friend, get the... This. Here you go, sir. <gasps> right. He's maxed. Um, For you, you love shishami. I know you do. Willie, good sir. You like... Wait, you're max, aren't you? Haha, <laughs> no gift for you, sir. No gift for you. Clint, here's your jade. Marnie likes the eggs. There you go. And some cheese for you. Right. Okay, is that everybody? Abigail's good. Can't this fruit. Yep, 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 yep. That's everybody. Okay. So now we gotta go talk to Krobus. He should be the last person on my Friendly Friday list. And double check. Anybody that's not Max Hart should have at least one X. Uh, yeah, good. To the Krobus Lair. Hello, sir. And after this, I have to water my crops. You're welcome, Krobus. Good lord. Hmm. 
Two million. That's crazy. Okay. All right, I'm gonna cut. Uh, I'll be right back, and hopefully it'll be the next day. Actually, let's do that. Let's cut for the um to where. Actually, did I sell anything? I don't think I sold it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I sold stuff today. So never mind. I will not cut to the next day, but I will cut after I'm done with these watering. Okay, so I was going through um, a list of people, and I noticed that Shane is Max Hearts, and Elliot. Elliot was like at three hearts at the start of the day. Hmm. Okay, maybe he was at four. But still, he's now eight. That's a that's fantastic. Gotta love birthday presents. I gave him a iridium quality um, duck feather, and that's like a love gift for him. So, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's see what we made. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> nah, eight twenty four. Nothing to sneeze at, I suppose. <laughs> All right, today is Saturday, and Saturdays are our do whatever we want days, I think. I don't need to give any more gifts to people. As long as you give them one gift a week, you're gonna progress pretty quickly. Oh, also, I've been putting the vegetables for Pierre's quest in the uh, in this little random chest here, so I know what I have. What I still have to do to get all that done. Okay, so uh, morning duties. I'll be. Oh, what the book? Hi, Dwight. Are you free this afternoon? I finally got my act together, and I'm doing an art show tonight in the town square. Come into town between three and five p.m. if you want to be there. Cool. I will definitely do that. All right. Figured I'd give you this uh, recipe I had laying around. Try not to burn it, George. <gasps> Spicy eel? Yes! Dear neighbor, when I'm not taking care of animals, I'd like to experiment in the kitchen. Since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. I hope you like this. A rhubarb pie. Voice. Dwight, I'm not sure how the human message system works, so I asked Wizard to help me write this letter. I hope you are doing okay. I wanted to share this with you. It's notes on how my people build a certain item. A dark sign. Ooh, those are cool. Which one is that? Let's see here. These are the regular signs. Dark sign. Oh, those are cool. And they just bat wings and bones. That's uh, interesting. Dwight! I have great news! My novel is finished! Nice! I'm giving a public reading this afternoon at the library. Hope to see you there. Oh my goodness! Okay. Hey! I found this in the drawer somewhere. Thought you could use it. Pam. Oh my god. Okay. Wanted. One fresh lobster for a marvelous bisque. I'm creating. Who? Gus, proprietor of the Stardock Saloon. Reward, 400 gold. Yes, sir. You will get a lobster. I have that, actually, so... That'll be pretty easy to do. Ooh, another another gold vegetable to add to the mix. But yeah, okay. Time to cut, and I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Let's look at selling all this stuff. Do I want the energy tonic? I kind of do, actually. We'll see what I can do with it. I already have one in here. That's mm. fine. Alright. I have to show up at the uh, library first. And I think she said 3 to 5 is going to be the town. So, let's go ahead and get those going. I'll take that trash, thank you. What do you got in this one? Huh? Nothing? Alright. 
<laughs> oh, bup, 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 bup. That's one thing that I need to make sure that I start looking for. Are those stinking artifact spots? Hey, buddy. If you want to play a cruel joke on Willie, give him radioactive ore. He might not forgive you, though. Just the thought of it can make him depressed. Hmm. That is a new comment. I don't know what that radioactive ore is, so. That's interesting. Go ahead. Get to your uh, get to your reading. I'll, I'll wait for you, sir. I'll wait for you. Right here, patiently. <gasps> oh, let's park him right on the bench there, and then I'll stand in the stoop. There you go. Ah! Open AM six p. It is AM six p.m. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Oh, what did he say? Let me look at this. Uh, 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 uh. Death letter, gift from Pam. Elliot's reading. I'm giving a public reading this afternoon at the library. Hope to see you there. I'm, I'm, I'm here. Okay, okay. I'll leave and I'll come back. One o'clock. Okay, that's the thing. Dwight, you made it! I feel so relieved to be done with my book. It's like an elephant's been lifted off my shoulders. Okay. Okay. Well, I better get started with the reading. Wish me luck! <laughs> His face. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. Hi! Ever since I was a young boy, I've dreamt of becoming a writer. When the time came for me to leave home and start my own life, I moved here. I was drawn to the, pe the peaceful beauty of the valley and hoped that days of quiet reflection, a reflection in this idiotic atmosphere would fan the light literally f Oh, screw you. After countless hours scribbling on my writing desk, I present you my first novel, The Rise and Fall of Planet Yaza. It's a sci-fi sci epic spanning thousands of years in an exotic planetary system. <laughs> Chapter 1 Commander Yitkin stepped through the golden archway as the airlock snapped shut behind him. Today was his first day on Planet Yazo. Yazo. And all 14 of the Alliance delegates had been summoned to the Grand Spire. Ooh. Interesting. And as the seventh moon descended beneath the horizon, the planet of Yazo would begin its sinister transformation, an event for which Commander Yutkin was completely unprepared. Well, that concludes my reading. I'll be selling signed copies of the book by the front desk. Thanks for listening. Well, how was it? Smile face. Thanks. You know, I got the idea for making a sci-fi book from you. Do you remember? I don't. I don't remember that. That's why I decided this book, t or that's why I dedicated this book to you. Oh, he had a little blush face on it. Aw. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, time to leave. Can I go back in? Maybe another cutscene. Nope. Okay, fine. Bye. Alright. Uh, three o'clock, right? Isn't that what she said? Uh oh. Uh oh. Three to five. Let's just assume it's at three to five. I'll go to the mines. Mess around a little bit. Let's go to 115. I need some magma geodes, I suppose. Hello? Anything special over here? No. Ooh, hello. Thank you. 
Ooh. Do I need to kill Bant? Probably not. Hiya! Ouch. I did that on purpose. It's so satisfying, the ground pound. How many people in that's watching right now, and how many people like the hammer versus the sword? I'm curious. I mean, they're, they're both equally good weapons. The sword is really slow. But I hear you can speed up the attack speed on it, so I'm not... I'm not too worried that it's going to be bad. Boink, boink. And you can't really, in my opinion, that little ground smack is really useful. Especially when you're surrounded by a lot of people. Wait, what? No. Town. Maybe go to, uh, okay. Town. There we go. <gasps> Yay! It's an art show! Mm. Okay. Dwight, you're here! Okay. I guess I had better introduce my pieces. Wish me luck. Is that a... What? What is happening here? Okay. Um, okay, everyone. Thanks for coming to my art show. As some of you know, I came to this town because I wanted to draw inspiration from the beautiful surroundings. <clears throat> this place really feels like home now. Okay, I'm going to introduce my sculptures now. She's a little shy, I can tell. I haven't named this one yet. She started out as an exercise in human anatomy, but I ended up seeing her through to completion. Her expression is intentionally unclear. She is, or is she embarrassed? Amused? Pained? I'll leave that for you to decide. It's a leading question, if I've ever heard one. <clears throat> anyway, this one's called Post-Dimensional Null Space. It represents the boundary of human imagination. The shape and color came to me vividly when I was in a trance state. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Calm down. <laughs> I've been calling this one Eggheads. I wanted to create an animatronic humanoid statue to toy with the viewer's ability to properly attribute personhood to a physical entity? I mean, I guess. Anyway. And the last one is called Wood Sculpture 3. <laughs> it's a celebration of my favorite sculpture material, wood. Yep, yeah, those are my sculptures. Oh, one last thing. I'd like to say thanks for my special friend Dwight. He gave me the idea for this show and the courage to go through with it. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. I'm proud of you, Leah. Events like this really breathe life into the little town. Great stuff! I love your art, Leah. Post-dimensional null space is my favorite. <gasps> Great use of wood. Thanks for doing this. Thanks, everyone. Now, who wants to buy it? Now let's start the bidding on these wonderful art pieces. A marvelous addition to your home. Do I hear $5,000 for the penguin? Yep, yeah, that sounds about right. The beautiful thing about art is... Well, you can sell it for a lot of money, because all you have to do is sell to one person, right? You sell a horse statue for $100,000. You don't have to sell it to a whole bunch of people, that's why it's priced the way it is. You just have to sell it to one person. And then you got it. <laughs> Alright, let's look here. What am I doing? Um, right. Copper. I'm not going to be able to do that. I think this one will be easily met. I still have 23 days, and I, still, I have a lot of vegetables that I planted, so... Mm -hmm. All right, well, it's four o'clock. What else can I do? Um, 
my list, I have a couple of uh, heart events. I'll try and do that. One of them is Penny. I know I just left the town, so that's unfortunate. But I wasn't paying attention, so I apologize. Professional. Ooh! I want to show you guys something. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up. I made a graphic. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So I made two, actually. I got this one. Uh-oh, hold up. La, 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 la. Uh, wait, what? Stop. No. Stop. Stop. Oh, God. Hey, God. Ah. Okay. Dang it. I messed it up. Can I just do this? I can. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, apparently. What is this? Exit full screen. Why are you full screen anyway? Okay. <sighs> I made a graphic. Professional. <laughs> That's just fantastic. I love it. I actually made two. I made that one, and I made this one. <laughs> this one. This one's for whenever me and Hero play together, and we make a derpy mistake. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. So yeah, that was fun. I, I just wanted to show you guys that. I know it meant nothing to most of you, but it's fine, and I think it's funny. Wait! Penny. I have to talk to Penny. And Sam, actually. Maybe Sam. Let me look at Sam. <clears throat> what is Sam? 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 Oh, there you are. Okay, yeah. Six hearts? Yeah. We'll be alright. Oh, Penny, are you home? No. Sad day. Bum, 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 bum. Well, there's Leah. Wow, I'm exhausted. My show was real success, wasn't it? Sure. Sam? Yay! Oh, hi, Dwight. I was just about to have a snack. A snickety snack. Here, let me get you something. Oops! Eh. Oh no, what a mess! What was that sound? <gasps> you broke an egg. This is absolutely terrible! What happened? Tell her, Dwight. Sam dropped the snack. He was handing it to me. Sam handed me the snack. And then I dropped it. Uh, or Sam dropped it on purpose. He thought it would be funny. Uh, let's do... This one. Yeah, that's what happened. Thanks for telling me the truth, Dwight. It's not such a big deal. But why were you so angry? Good lord. I'm sorry about this, Mom. I'll clean it up. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sonny. I don't like Jody. <laughs> I really don't. She's kind of, uh... <sighs> She's kind of not a good person. <laughs> oh, right, Penny. Oh, my God. I just... Man, I'd lose my head if it wasn't on my shoulders. That's the truth. Where is Penny, by the way? Oh, can I give you cheese? Do you want some cheese? Wait, can I give you cheese? Yes, I can. Uh, Artesian? No, I haven't given you cheese before. So, this will be interesting. <gasps> For me? Thanks. Alright, was that a love gift? No, it was probably just a like. Yeah, just a like. That's okay. Life gifts are pretty, still pretty decent. So, Penny! Are you home? Knock, knock! Oh, come on! She's 
She's a little punk. Where are you? Hi, Elliot. Want some cheese? Right. Okay. I bet she's in here. Right. <sighs> Can you guys hear that thunder? It is storming. Storming like crazy right now. That's crazy. Willie! Oh, you're, you're ten hearts, aren't you? <laughs> Year two is when I focus on an or animals. NPCs, by the way. So I'm just running around, trying to get everybody. And usually at year three, hopefully, hopefully by the end of year three, or the end of year two, I have everybody at ten hearts, or I'm pretty close to everybody at ten hearts. And then I can focus on money. Money, money, money. Making the money. I'm confused. I don't... I don't know where she's at. Let's, uh, let's check her house one more time. Uh, Willie, hello. She wouldn't go to the bar, and it's 7.30, so... What in the world? Okay. Wiki! Hello, Wiki! StardyDallyWiki.com We're gonna go to Penny. Uh, Penny. There we are. And today is a Saturday on a fall. No, no. Where, where is the Saturday? Here we are. Fall. Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. Thursday. Tuesday. Saturday. Oh my gosh. Arrives at trailer at 840. I'm not going to be able to get into your house after 830. Well, that's just a ruined day. God. What a jerk. It's okay. I had a pretty decent day, though. I went going to the mines, and I did some excavation. <laughs> I want to go to the island tomorrow. And I'm going to use this island I was. I've been keeping it in my inventory, so I, it helps me remember... <clears throat> that I I have an extra island to go to. And I want... To, oh, hello. I want to go to bed right now. That way I can just kind of skip. Some, save some time. And we're only at 48 minutes, so... I might do a little extra long episode today, guys. It might be about an hour. Ooh, looky here. There we go. Hello, kitty. Get all these. Perfect, perfect. And let's see if it's going to rain on the island. Fruit salad. Heck yeah. I've been doing really good with Queen of Sauce. I don't think I've missed a single one. I missed, okay, I missed one, but I caught it on a Wednesday, so I got lucky. Uh, weather report, here we go. Uh, cloudy tomorrow, but on the island, it is going to be sunny. Ugh. It's fine. Empty out my inventory real fast. Get out of here. Do I have any more? <gasps> I do. I'm going to plant all these mahogany seeds in preparation for tomorrow. I have 15. 15. And I want to use this uh, Miracle Grow. Miracle Grow. <laughs> One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, um, I don't want... Oh, shoot. Ah, there we go. I really was focusing hard there. Um, so Robin does a special orders board 
request for uh, 80 hardwood and 15 of these little suckers would be enough for fulfilling all of that. Oh my gosh, my beats are done. Oh, I bet I get the 25 here. Hmm, where am I at so far? Net 5, okay. 7. Get all these beats. Get out of here. Do I a beat farmer? And that's 18. Where does that put us at? 22? Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's throw those in there. And I can sell the rest of these. I don't have any issues with that. What you got for me? Thanks again for coming to my art show. It was a it was such a success. I sold nearly all of my sculptures and everybody was so positive and encouraging. I hope to see you again soon. Oh. Thanks, Leah. Now, off to Pierre's. He opens at nine, I believe, right? Uh Pierre's nine, okay. So I got a little time. Let's go talk to my animals. Also, these are at three now, so I'm gonna harvest all these things. And since it's raining, I'm skipping the morning duty cut, I guess. I didn't intend to do that, but I am. So you're welcome. Get in my way. Are these? No, okay. Wait. Oh no, a peach. I lost a peach. I'm gonna have to go get that soon. Hello? Give me your milk. Give me your milk. Oh, goats are done today. Thank goodness. Oh, I hate that. Okay. And you? Is this mug? No, shanty. All right, dump these real fast. One, two, good. And off to the chicken coop to pet them. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't see a foot in here, Game Master. <laughs> You're killing me! He's like, I do what I can! <laughs> boom, and boom, and boom. And I had a duck egg, I thought. Maybe it's in here still. Let's do a duck egg. Thank you. Alright, not bad. Are these. Yeah, these aren't done. But I want to double check. Yeah, okay, cool. So I got. A lot of crops to buy, and I will be buying crops. That's oh, did I leave my horse behind? I sure did. It's okay. It's fine. Professional, after all. Oh, um. So I will be putting that graphic, and every time I hit a button on my keyboard, it's gonna pop up. <laughs> I don't know how to do it yet, but uh, that's my plan. Yeah. Okay, so we did a whole bunch of beets. I kind of want to do beets again because I need beets. Fairy rose would be kind of nice, honestly. Twelve days. I can. I still have time for that. Pumpkins would be good. About fifteen pumpkins. Uh, don't see the beets anywhere though. That kind of sucks. See thirty. And then let's just top it off with a hundred pumpkins. It is. Although, wait a second. There's a quest that I have from this guy. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! 
Okay. That's happening today. I was going to the island, but apparently I'm not. So many things are happening right now. And it's a rainy day. Let's see here, Abigail. What, what are you at? You're at four hearts, I think. Hmm. I think she is high enough in the hearts level. <clears throat> All right, where did I put those beats? Uh, nope. Beat seeds. How many beats do I got in here? I have not enough. Okay. Maybe I can pick some out of the bin here. Oh, thank God. Okay. It's unfortunate that it's the, uh, it's the big, or it's not the big one, but it's the... Ugh, I'm focusing so hard right now. It's insane. Okay. Sorry, guys. One more. Thank you. And my beets. Get those beets in the ground. I'm a beet farmer! Dang it. <laughs> so, in future episodes, I will... I promise that I won't be only doing beats. <laughs> I mean, it, it fits my, my character a little bit, but... It's, uh, it's funny. Alright, I'm gonna go check the... Maybe the quarry? Yes! Abigail! Four hearts. Right, there's probably music playing right now. That's the, bene the downside to having music. Constantly playing in the background, I mute the music in the game, so it doesn't conflict. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I'm sorry about that. Dwight, why are you out here in the rain? Enjoying the weather. I could ask you the same question. Or, ooh, I'm gonna say enjoying the weather. <clears throat> yeah, I guess you would be the one to appreciate this somber ambiance. I came here to spend some time alone. Oh, okay. You mean to leave? But I don't mind your company. Aw, you're getting soaked. Come stand under the tree. What? I chopped it down. <laughs> It's impossible to describe this feeling watching the car or the curtains of rain wisp above a silent lake. Did I just pull out like a flute? Oh, a mini harp. You're full of surprises, Dwight. I'm impressed. Let's play music together in the rain next to the lake. This is really awkward without music. I do apologize for that, folks. <clears throat> I've been so this this um, series is a completionist run, right? Like every everything, all my all my achievements that I or goals that I've set basically forces me to get every single thing in the game. Including all cutscenes. So, the fact that they didn't play the music in the background makes me die a little bit on the inside. <laughs> because now I feel like the run is going to be incomplete. I, you know what? I might, I might just add it as a, like a cut over. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't. Man. Meh. No. I'm not going to do that. That's too much work. <gasps> oh, right. Ah. You get some beats. I have 20. I'd like to get this keys quest done, honestly. They said Mayor Lewis, right? Mayor Lewis. Fridge. Okay. 
Oh, good afternoon. Don't mind me. You quickly place the beets in the fridge. Wait a sec. There's a note taped to the milk. It's addressed to you. Good job, kid. Your final task? Give the sand dragon his last meal. Mr. Key. <sighs> God. Well, I was going to go to the island. Next episode is going to be nothing but the island. I had to take care of some things, apparently, on this one. But, I got a lot done. Like, no joke. A lot of cutscenes. I had a couple of Leia's. A couple of Elliot's. I did Shane's. I did uh, Sam. I did Alex. I did Penny. No, I didn't do Penny. But I bet I could. It's raining right now. She's probably in. Alright. 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 I'll go. I'll go. Yes, I'll do it. I'll go talk. Yes, I'll do it. Alright, throw those into here. Because those are fall seeds. Go to the desert first. Uh, oh, wait. Shoot. I gotta give the sand dragon his last meal. Does anybody know what his last meal is? Give the sand dragon his final meal. I know. It is a solar essence. Or is it a void essence? I'm going to bring both, just in case. I'm like 90% sure it's a solar essence. But, it would be uh, my luck that it's not. <laughs> so. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Buy a ticket. For 500 gold. <clears throat> You're doing a great job, Pam. Good job. Hello, Mr. Sun Dragon. Yay, you place the essence in the dragon's maw. Only then you notice a note hidden in the eye socket. You've proven yourself, kid. Check out the pile of lumber next to your house, Mr. Key. There you go. Any forgeables? Yes. And today is Sunday, which is Spicy Eel Day, and the Staircase Day. <clears throat> Whoa. Dude, the hats. Oh my gosh. The hats achievement, or the hats goal, is going to be a tough one for me. I mean, yeah. That's going to be rough. There's so many hats in the game. And every single one is tied to a specific thing in the game. Well, I guess not not everything. There might be a couple of things that you can just buy hats. Or even, you might be able to make hats? No. Well, maybe you can make one hat. I don't know. <laughs> there, is one, there is one hat in the game code that is unobtainable to me. And that is the... Uh, panda hat, I believe. I did some research on it on episode zero. And the panda hat is uh, locked behind like a specific console. Like the Wii game console that's in China. I guess Wii game is kind of like Steam. Are you kidding me, Penny? Penny, you're the absolute worst person on Earth. Oh, God. I just, I just, I just, I just, thank you, lightning, yes, that, uh, pretty much sums it up. So I got a brand new graphics card for my computer, and I'm looking over at the OBS software, and I noticed that out of everything that I've recorded so far, I've only missed 95 frames out of 619,000 so far. Nice. It was a lot higher than that on my old graphics card. But I tell you what, buying and upgrading a new graphics card really, uh, that hurt. That hurt. Um, I, I'm gonna keep everything. So whenever I get everybody to 10 or max hearts, 
I plan on going down to five of every item. Because um, I think a total of five is enough for me to still have enough items and resources in my repertoire to make every recipe in the game. And that's one of the achievements to do, is to cook every recipe. So, and luckily, as you can see there at the bottom, every time you cook a recipe, it tells you what you've cooked. So I can easily go through and see what I've cooked and what I have not cooked and what I need. Like the sashimi, pumpkin stew, because I had the luck, that's right. And this guy's got luck too. Ginger. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, time to sleep. I'm gonna end it there, so let's see what we made. The beats, not, it's, that's, mm, that's, yeah, that's not gonna happen. We're not gonna be a beat farmer. <sighs> Maybe when I complete the entire challenge and I play this game for just fun. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's when I become a, a true bead farmer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and give me some feedback in the comments. That'd be great. So, on that note, I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, hero.